Hello to all the viewers who are watching this video. In this video, I'm going to share about the whiteboard in Zoom and its features and a few more features. Before I start, I would request you to click the subscribe button if you have not subscribed my channel yet. I assume you have done so, so thank you. So let's begin. Uh, you need to sign in. If you have not created your account yet, you can click on sign up. Once you will provide your email details, an email for activating the link would be sent to your email account. If you have done that, so you can directly sign in, enter your email and password. I had saved it, so here I land on this page. Now Zoom keeps on giving you uh, important updates here. If you have not updated Zoom 5.0, please uh, update it. It's uh, the encryption thing uh, that is there, though I don't know much about encryption. But yes, it is a safety feature. It uh, and codes your messages and data so that it is read by only certain people. So it's important that you up, um, update it to 5.0 version. Okay, so there are a lot of things to explore, but we will stay focused. Uh, let's move to the left bar here. In personal, you can see settings. Let's go to settings. And once you will go to settings, you can go to in meeting basic settings. You can choose whatever settings you want for uh, chat, for feedback, file transfer. Let's come to screen sharing. Now screen sharing whether as a host you only want to share the screen or you want all participants should have this uh, uh, power in their hand that they also share their uh, screen. So I have kept it host only. Then who can start sharing when someone else is sharing it's up to you whether you want to enable it or not. Disable desktop screen share for users, it's up to you. Annotation, very, very important. Though I have made a different video on it, but I would suggest you to click it so that um, you allow saving of shared screen with annotations if you are making one. And also you disable annotations on the part of participants. Allow sharing whiteboard during a meeting. You want to save it, not so you can make all the settings from here. Now these settings will be saved. Further, you can see there are uh, advanced settings uh, during the meeting. You can go and explore. Regarding the uh, breakout room, I'll uh, cover that in my next tutorial. So once you have done the settings, let's start a meeting. Host a meeting with video off or on, it's your choice. So open Zoom meeting. This here, let's join with computer audio. Maximize it. I'm putting this on mute because I'm having an audio recorder with me. Now, share screen. Let's focus here. Share screen, whiteboard. I want to share a whiteboard, share. I want to tell you that if you have um, a touch screen enabled uh, high version uh, system, uh, your laptop or desktop, then um, a moon sign will also appear in this bar and you can change this uh, background of white to black or any other color and you have uh, more controls and more features. Now it depends on what subject you are taking that which tools you want to use. Now first of all click here on the hanging toolbar. Now here unmute is there. You can see more options related to it. Video off is there. Security features is, is there. You can go lock meeting, enable waiting room, share screen. You want to allow your participants to share screen. You click it. You want them to chat. Click it. You want them to rename themselves, click it, unmute themselves. No, I don't want them to unmute themselves. So I can disable it and notate on shared content. Please uh, disable it. I don't want the participants to spoil my screen or draw or scribble on it. So annotate on shared content. It should be disabled. The participants should not be allowed to do that. Now. Uh, here are other settings. Uh, here is a whiteboard uh, toolbar that is already coming and then uh, chat and recording and meeting info. Allow participants to annotate. I have already disabled it. Show names of annotators. If you want, if this setting is enabled, then you can 
click this to see who is annotating just to scold otherwise there is no benefit okay hide floating meeting controls it's up to you share computer sound and optimize share for full screen video clip now these are the options now say i am teaching something where i need to write and then explain i may use a text box now this text means i'm using a text box when i am explaining something for example say i am uh, explaining a topic of personification and i need to write on it so i can write i can use this now what is this i am putting this is a literary device and further i want to give examples so i am using its first example is the sun smiled uh so whatever i mean i am writing it my second example is the uh wind shouted heavily or whatever the wind uh, shouted uh, uh, terribly at me now i want to explain these and then i want to use spotlight here now this is a spotlight that the sun smiled so this word smiled is personification now if i want i can use this this also if i want to draw i can draw also so i have a lot of options here now uh, say i want to clear this all i'll clear all what i have written now i am not using the spotlight and i want to use for example uh, i want to draw something i am uh, teaching maths and i want to make a triangle here and uh, i am using lines here and then like this i'm so bad at it no i'm not okay so this is a triangle i have made a triangle i want to explain something related to it and uh, further i want to uh, give uh, names so i can select whatever i want to select in our hanging bar there was a whiteboard pen also so we can use that also i want to write a here and then b if you have touch screen you can use your fingers also to write so i have named this triangle abc and further i can go you know this angle is equal angle a equals to angle b and uh, then you can further go on explaining so there are various things that you can use from here if you want to draw any shape you can say if it is correct you can say it's correct if something is wrong you can use the wrong sign here ki this particular thing is wrong and if you want to undo it you just undo the last step that you have done you want to redo it is redo you want to use eraser you can use eraser also if you want to clear all it's up to you that what do you want to clear your drawings all drawings viewers drawings and if you want to save it maybe you want to reuse this particular uh, thing in your next class so you can save it show in folder it's up to you now it, it has been saved and here it is saved because i have clicked on show in folder so this is how it works let's get back here now these are the basic features um, that are available here and uh, the basic tools that are there if you will upgrade it you may get uh, further more features now um, i think uh, we have covered almost all so you know if you want that uh, you have a circle yeah we were exploring more options here you want to draw a circle so you can go and click here a circle and if you want to draw a rectangle with shaded part you can use like this and uh, if you want to change the color you can change colors from here so you have uh, pretty many options with you you can play around it depends on the class you are teaching on the subject you are teaching and uh, if you don't want again you can use the text box here and then put your stuff in it for example you can do it like this also uh today's topic and then you can write here so it's up to you what you want how you want you can always cater to that so um, this was the basic use of a whiteboard i'll click here on stop share to stop sharing this screen so that wasn't that uh, tough i hope uh, my video would have helped you to explore new features if you really liked it please press the like button 
and I remind you to subscribe it if you have not subscribed to Yonti Learn yet. Thank you. This is Priya Handa signing off. May God bless you all.